Welcome to the Dancer Studio. Today, I want to show you how to create this monochromatic circle balloon arch, plus how to incorporate gorgeous greenery accents. I'm using this six and a half foot tall circle arch as the structural piece for this design. First of all, we need to make some balloon clusters, and this one has five 11 inch balloons and one 17 inch balloon all tied together into a set of six. Inflate two 11 inch balloons until they're nearly the full size, and then let a little bit of air out so they're anywhere between six and nine inches in diameter to give us a beautiful organic look. Tie the balloons into a pair by wrapping the nozzles around twice and tying them in a simple knot. Make a second pair in the exact same way, and then take the remaining 11 inch balloon and 17 inch balloon and inflate them at the same time. Now whenever doing this, always make sure the bigger balloon is on the trigger side of your inflator so it can keep filling even once the smaller balloon is full and you pull it off, allowing us to inflate all of the balloons much faster. Now tie these two balloons into a pair and then take all three of the pairs we just created and tie them into a cluster. Overlap the first two pairs so that the nozzles touch right in the center and then twist one balloon from each pair around each other, locking them into a quad. To this quad, we're gonna slip that third pair right in so that all the nozzles touch right in the center and then twist one balloon from that pair around one of the balloons that's already in the quad and that will make this lovely cluster of six balloons. I repeated this step until I had six of these clusters ready for my arch before creating the second type of cluster which has four 11 inch and two 17 inch balloons that I inflated and tied together into a cluster just like we did the last one. Finally, I made a giant balloon quad from three 17 inch balloons and one 24 inch balloon to add some pizzazz to this arch. So inflate those and then tie them together into a quad by overlapping them and twisting the four balloons around each other. Now this is just like the smaller balloons, but a little bit more cumbersome. Once you've got six of these, we can finally start adding them to our arch. At the base of the circle, we want to camouflage the feet of the stand, so I'm going to use one of those giant quads and slip it on first, making sure the 24 inch balloon is facing out towards the front of the arch. So slip the balloons under the circle, but make sure the nozzles of the balloon are touching the support foot and the circle part of the frame. Then where that arch frame comes through the quad, take two balloons with the pole in between them and twist them around each other. This will lock the balloons onto the frame and they won't accidentally pop off later on. Next, slip a cluster with two 17 inch balloons over the frame so that the nozzles of that cluster are touching the metal. Wrap two balloons of that cluster all the way around the frame and then twist them around each other, locking it in place. Then nestle this cluster right up against the quad that we just placed a moment ago so that there aren't any major gaps. It's helpful to have several 11 inch balloons right next to the 17 and 24 inch balloons because those larger balloons leave bigger gaps, but by arranging the 11 inch balloons around, we can fill most of those pretty easily. I followed this up with a single 17 inch balloon cluster next, nestling it around the frame, tying it in place, and snuggling all those balloons nice and tightly together. Now I just repeated this pattern all the way around the circle, starting with that giant quad every time and making sure I orient that 24 inch balloon in a different direction every time I add it. So this one I had pointing towards the center of the circle, and from there I always rotate it in a different direction. As you add clusters around the frame, you may notice that the balloons on the inside edge of the circle are beginning to get a little crowded and squished. And if that's the case, you'll want to rotate your clusters around so those larger balloons are on the outside edge of the circle, leaving only a couple 11 inch on the inside of the circle. This will allow the clusters to make a gentle, graceful curve all the way around without getting squished or leaving gaps on the outside edge. Once we reach the bottom of the arch, we have to change up our attachment strategy because the arch is too close to the floor to get balloons underneath. So I'm going to use an empty 260 balloon and tie it in a double knot to the frame. Then I'll use the two tail ends to secure our balloon clusters to the arch. Slip the next set of balloons in place, trying to get them as close to the floor as possible. Then take one end of that 260 balloon and wrap it in a figure eight around a couple of the balloons you just added to secure it in place. If you want to make sure your balloons are nice and snug, you can always take the end of that 260 and wrap it around some of the balloons in the cluster next to it before adding the final balloons to the frame. Once you've got a complete circle, we can finally go in and add the gorgeous greenery to this design. If you'll be using newly purchased greenery, there's three things you should do before adding them to your balloon garland. First, you need to remove any price tags from the greenery. You can rip them off or use a pair of scissors to cut them away. By removing all the tags ahead of time, it makes the installation go so much faster than if you had to pull them off one at a time as we added them into the design. 
Next, we need to check the stems for any wires that may be poking out that would pop our balloons. If you feel anything sharp on your stems, you can always wrap it in a couple layers of tape and that will protect our balloons from getting popped. Now mine are completely covered in plastic, so I can go ahead and move on to the third step, which is fluffing out our greenery. When I turn the stem to the side, you can see just how flat this is. So to give it more life and volume, I'm going to bend the stems in organic ways. Now you don't have to be super severe and make hard right angles, we just want to give it more life and vitality so it looks like a real branch. I'm not going to be super particular at this point because once I add these into their final spot, I'll bend the branches so they look perfect exactly where I place them. For now, I just want to get a beautiful baseline of volume and texture. When adding greenery to the balloon arch, I first want to fill in any gaps there may be between balloons. Take the stem of your greenery and slip it between two balloons in the arch, and it's the tension between those two balloons that will hold the greenery in place. Then I'm going to fluff out the branches so that they look like they're bursting out of the arch, giving us more volume and texture. I'm using three different types of greenery for today's design, and to make sure I evenly distribute that around the circle, I've divided the circle into thirds, and in each third I'm using the same number of each type of foliage to ensure that I get good coverage. Sometimes when you're adding greenery stems though, they don't want to stay in place, so if you have moments where the tension between balloons isn't enough, you can always secure these in place with a glue dash or some tape attached to the end of the stem. As I continue to add the greenery pieces in, I want to make sure I'm placing them on all visible sides of this display and not just on the front. That way, when you view this design from any angle, it's going to look lush and beautiful. Once you get near the end of placing all your greenery, take a couple steps back and look at it from a wide perspective. Through this entire process, I frequently placed and then removed and replaced greenery pieces until I was happy with the overall design. And now this gorgeous piece is ready for a party or event. If you enjoyed today's video, you should check out this one. And until the next time, remember, stay creative everybody.